Hi folks from slide nerd this is Vibs over here what's up in this video I'm gonna continue talking about the grid view that we have been talking about from the last video if you remember we are planning to make this app over here that shows different country names and when you click on the flag it shows the flag image and the name of the country so in the last video we completed the first three steps in this video time to go on the fourth one so the next thing we need to remember is that our grid view which has been created inside our activity underscore main dot xml does not have any data inside we need to put the data data is not managed by the grid view directly a person called the adapter is responsible for managing how data is put inside so here in our main activity we are gonna go here create our own adapter by saying class waves adapter extends base adapter this base adapter is a class that provides a rough idea of what an adapter should do so you just need to extend it and provide the fair idea in other words so now it gives you an error saying blah 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 there are several methods that you need to implement inside the base adapter press alt enter in android studio implement methods click ok and you're done as you guys can notice there are several methods over here get count blah 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 so we need to over implement each of these methods return something from them but the most important of all is this get view method over here every time the grid view wants to display one item to the user it simply calls the get view method specifies the position of the item specifies if this is the first time the item is being created and also specifies the reference to the parent grid view itself over here now what is expected from you is that you maintain some kind of an array that is going to have all the data now if we only had images or if we only had text things would be very simple I could go here and say something like this saying int images and we would be done this images will have all the array but our case is a little more complex you see we have the country flags which are images and the country names which should be bound together right so I cannot have two arrays over here by saying string country names the problem with this is inside the get count method I need to return the number of elements inside my array now I can return only one value using a return statement but here I have two arrays so whose count should I return now it is unfair if I either return images size or the country names array size from the get count method and hence I will not follow this approach I'm gonna remove these two I'm gonna make a separate class that is gonna have the image and a single country name bound together so I'm gonna call this class as class single item I'm gonna have int image string country name so you see this class is gonna have both the ID of a particular country and the name of a particular country I can probably call this country over here that would make things more simpler to understand each country having an image and a country name right that sounds more simple and now I'm gonna make a constructor here by saying country I'll say int image ID comma string country name just a better constructor for helping us initialize things better image ID equals to image ID this dot country name now I could go and do it private and all but I'm not doing that now inside my adapter as I told you we need to maintain an array that contains the complete data now think about this we can have an array of countries over here by saying country countries right that would be a nice approach but instead of using a simple array like this what I will do is instead have an array list so now this gives me the advantage that in the get count method I can return the size of this array list in the get item method I can return a particular item at the given position I from this method over here and it makes everything so much simpler we need to initialize this array list with all the data from our XML now I'm gonna make the adapter constructor here by saying gives adapter inside this constructor which I'm going to be calling only once I will fill all the data inside this array list so inside my constructor waves adapter I simply initialize the array list by saying list equals to new array list so this array list is only directly going to store country objects all right now we need to fill the data inside this array list because remember the array list is empty it doesn't contain anything so we need two things to fill the data up one 
is those images and two is these textual string arrays inside our strings.xml file we need these two things so i'm gonna go here the first thing i need to do is get these strings from xml to java for that i need a resources object because through the resources object i can access those methods but for the resources i'm gonna need a context object so i'm gonna say context so at this point you probably see that there's an error press alt enter now i will use this context that i passed to get the resources by saying context dot get resources again there is an error saying blah 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 press alt enter and import the class now using this resources object i can get the string array by saying you can see that res dot get string array i need to pass the name of the string array which is country underscore names in our case this is the reason why we gave a name here so that we can call this from java so here i'm gonna say r dot array i will store this inside a temporary string for now i'm gonna say temp now this covers our part of having the different country names next i need to have those images as well for that there's a different technique a simpler one i can say int images or country images to be more specific about this say r dot trouble dot germany flag comma r dot drawable so let me actually go ahead complete this array the same way so at this point i have my country names inside an array i have the country images also inside an array i use these two arrays inside a for loop to put them inside the main array list that we have for that i can say for int i equals to zero i less than 10 then i can create single row objects or our country objects which we have created over here so that i can put each country image with its country name inside this so I can say something like this by saying country. I pass two parameters inside the constructor. One is the image ID. So for that I can say country images of I and the other will be the temp country names of I. So as you guys can see inside the for loop since we have written this we are creating a whole lot of country objects. One uh, country for each group of image and country name right. So we have actually associated the country name and images together with this. And now I simply add them by saying list dot add temp country. So at this point, my array has been completely initialized and filled with data. Now starting with the next video, I'm going to go further in this and show you guys exactly how to make the grid view work. In the meantime, if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Have a nice day.